Hey guys, this is Edwin Diaz and um, I'm going to answer a email that I got, a couple emails that have people that people have sent me, you guys, my students. How do you become so successful? So I'm gonna answer that. And um, here, here's what, a little bit of my story for those of you that don't know. I was very poor and you probably heard that a lot, but I didn't have much of anything. Being a single dad to uh, from coming out from poor dad, poor mom, poor family, poor community, Spanish community, minority in the United States where I was, you know, Brooklyn, New York, coming out from there. Um, I didn't have much of anything. And, you know, I, I made something of myself. But now, here's the trick. A lot of people ask me, what, do you, what is it that you do? Well, you guys know that I teach online and I sell courses, right? Programming courses, you can go to my website. The, the link is probably in the bottom of the description or somewhere in the website, whatever you are watching this. But, you know, they ask me, what, what did you do? What kind of business did you do? Well, I did, I, I done Amazon, right? I done eBay. I done um, my own websites. I done anything you can think of, I done online. Now, the trick to making it to making money online or making something of yourself, it's not the business itself. And I'm going to explain what it is. But it's not the business. It's the way you think. Right? Because if I, right, think, my, if my thoughts are really weak in the, ter in the terms of making a decision, in the terms of taking a risk, in the terms of waking, waking up early, in the terms of of you know doing something really hard for many many months if my mind is weak on that then I will never achieve anything my mind has to be strong and by default our minds do not want to do anything for some of us like me when I was growing up I was very negative um, you know things I always saw the bad things in life of course that's all I had around me but here's the trick to actually making something of yourself you have to change the way you think about things in life. Not just thinking that things are hard, thinking that things are possible. You just don't know how to do them yet, right? So what made my life change so drastically from making $7 an hour in the United States, of course, to making over three, 400, 500, 6,000, 600,000, a million dollars a year in within three or four years right what made that change well it wasn't three or four years I was working on myself for some time okay before that three or four years the three or four years was the years that that the momentum that I was building up that's what those three and four years did right the momentum caught up to me because I was building momentum I was working on myself and here's a trick all right I read a book reading books it's the best thing but I read a book that told me that waking up early was very beneficial for me. But it wasn't the book itself. It's what, it's that I applied what the book told me to do. You see, sometimes we read books and we do not apply what they say. And we, if we do apply it, we apply it for just a couple days and then we give up, right? So I said to myself, what do I have to lose? Let me just try the book. Let me just try what it says. Let me just try this thing out. So I started playing around with the time, right? I used to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning to get my kids ready for school. But then I said, I, I said to myself, let me just wake up an hour before. So the first day of reading book, the second day I woke up at six, put the alarm to six. I was a, still a little dizzy, right? Then I put the alarm to five the next, the day after that. And then I messed up and, and then the day after that, and I woke up like a seven again, and it, it took me a battle of maybe like a week and a half to two weeks to actually get to a point where I was sleeping six hours a day and I was feeling good and waking up at four o'clock in the morning. Now, when I woke up at four o'clock in the morning, I didn't know what to do because I didn't plan my day before. I didn't know I had to do that. I didn't go to the next chapters, right? So, but I was waking up at four, and I was like, what should I do at four o'clock, right? So I started checking on my computer, my emails and things. And, and all of a sudden, I started coming up with ideas to do on that time. From 4 to, to 7 o'clock, I had three hours in the day. You, you multiply that times 7. That's 21 hours, right? 3 times 7, 21 hours, right? Plus 4. What? Times 4, right? 
So we're talking about 84 hours a month that I have extra. Well, if you don't count the seven, if my kids didn't go to school on the Saturday and Sunday, right? If you count the times five, then we're talking about 15 times, okay, about 60 hours a month without counting the weekends, right? 60 hours a month. I was blown away. 60 hours a month times 12. Talking about 600 and something hours, I don't know how many, hundreds of hours, right? A year extra. And all that time I was like, wow, I have three hours a day, but if I calculate it by yearly, yearly, I have a whole bunch of hours that I can study something, right? So I started studying, started studying a whole bunch of things. I started playing around, being creative. I had three hours a day that I could do that. My kids didn't bother me because they were sleeping, right? But three hours a day, and that changed my life completely because I, got, I have more time to read, I have more time to get skills, and that, my friends, is the trick. If you want to be successful, if you want to achieve something in life, you have to wake up earlier. I could have said that in the beginning of the video, but then you would have missed out on some of my story, right? So if you want to change your life, I'm telling you right now, start waking up earlier. Find out the time that your body feels right when you wake up, all right? Because some of us don't rest. So make sure that you are rested. You know, before I found out that, you know, even though I woke up at a certain time, I wasn't feeling okay. It wasn't that, you know, that, was, that wasn't the hours that I was supposed to um, sleep. It, it wasn't, it, it was something wrong with my body. I had a problem. I had a sleep disorder, which I, in, I, I went to the doctor. They prescribed me some sleeping medicine, right? Of course, sleeping medicine, taking sleeping medicine is not good, but there are natural things that can help you sleep better and rest, like the tamarind juice. Tamarind seeds, you, you, if you look online or YouTube or anywhere, you can prepare that into a juice, okay? You get the seeds and you put them in water for a couple hours, you massage the seeds and you get the stuff out, and then you get that juice out and you put a strainer and you just get the juice and put it in the fridge. And you drink that before you go to sleep, maybe once or twice a day. And you're gonna see your sleep patterns getting better and better. And that's what I drink to, to, to rest. Cause some, some of us can't really rest. All right, another thing is don't be in the computer at least two hours, for two hours before you go to sleep. Don't be in the computer. If you're gonna be in the computer, know that your brain's gonna keep working at nighttime and you won't be able to get sleep. So give it, let's say you go to sleep at 10, at eight o'clock, stop your computer, stop your cell phone, stop everything, stop your TV. That way you can get a better rest. I'm telling you right now, okay? So if you wanna be successful, the first thing that you gotta get right in your life is sleeping, or should I say resting, okay? And waking up early, all right? So take my advice and start waking up early and that's going to help you 100%. I'm telling you, it's gonna, it's gonna change your life because you're gonna start thinking more creatively. I'm gonna try to make more videos to give you guys more advice on certain things that you, you might wanna do, like your daily routines. Some of the, maybe if you guys are into programming, I can give you some of the courses that you have to follow in order for you to be successful in programming, maybe becoming a developer or a software or a programmer, an engineer, whatever you wanna do. Uh, if you want those videos, you can make a comment and I will get those videos to you, all right? Remember, make sure that you're sleeping good, resting. Find out the minimum time that you need to sleep to feel good so that way you can actually take advantage of, the, of your day you don't want to oversleep if your body only takes it feels good with six hours stay sleep six hours why do you need to sleep nine right anyway i hope this video was very you know helpful for you i hope that you like it i want to know if you guys have any comments make them there and uh thank you so much see you in the next lecture or should I say next video? Take care.